Bye. In today's video, we're testing out some at-home spy gear as well as some spy detection tools. All right, this isn't exactly the highest quality spy technology ever made. This is a baby monitor, but the principle is the same. Okay, you got a baby monitor and I have never seen one of these, a smart charger camera. Yeah, so the idea is today, I wanted to test out this device, which says that it is for detecting hidden and spy gadgets that may be you know, around or looking at you. It says it can pick up hidden cameras. It's an RF detector, a camera finder, a bug detector. It's for counter surveillance. Online it said that it could pick up like GPS signals as well. So what we want to do, first we want to test out some of the devices that it might be able to find. So baby monitor as a very cheap version of a listening device. And so we want to see how well like a hidden baby monitor can still pick up on stuff. Here's the basic idea. We've got some basic monitoring equipment that we want to test out and see how well it works. Then we want to pit it against our monitoring equipment detector to see if it can find the hidden spy gadgets around your home. Now this one is fascinating. I've never seen one like this before. It looks like just a regular charger, but it has a- And in fact, it is It is. A you, you use it as a charger, but as soon as you plug it in, it starts recording. Uh, this actually, I, I specifically did want. This was, this was a replacement for the fancy kind, but this is exactly what I wanted because it's not a hidden camera, it's a disguised camera. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen people reporting like finding these in their Airbnbs and stuff like, oh, provided chargers, except actually it's a camera which is illegal, at least everywhere in the US, I think. That's so, terrifying. Uh, we wanted to test out how well they work, what kind of video you can get, and obviously there's gonna be a range of quality for them, but this particular one, we just wanna try it out. And then, yeah, the baby monitor. And then we, uh, after we test those, we want to see wow. if our detection unit can find anything, including a GPS tracking app on my phone. And so I'll turn off all signal from my phone, but then turn the GPS back on and see if it can pick up on that. I looked into getting just GPS locator like devices. Most of them require getting a subscription and a SIM card and stuff like that. So we're just gonna be using my phone with only the GPS turned on and see how that works. Okay. If I got that, I would just be like, why are they wasting all this space? They could have two charging ports on here. What are you doing? But it doesn't mean they don't exist like that because I've okay. had them. It records without an indicator light. So as soon as I plug this in, it should be running. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can. That's actually pretty impressive. I am not talking loudly and I'm about five feet away from it. You're five feet away from it. Yes, I can still hear you. Now I'm standing kind of on the other side of the room and I'm almost whispering. You're standing on the other side of the room and you're whispering. Fascinating. <laughs> All right, I'm now going to walk out of the room. I'm now in the hallway outside the room. I can hear you just fine. I am now at the end of the hallway outside the room. You're at the end of the hallway outside the room. This thing is scary. Okay, that I couldn't hear. It's just you making noise. This thing is scary. This thing is scary, yes. Wow. I'm literally like whispering. You're not literally whispering, you are whispering. And you could totally hide one of these baby monitors in a room somewhere where nobody could hear it or see it at all. And you would be able to listen in to really easily. I swear if he walks out of the room and I start hearing a voice in there, I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. If I went to plug something in on this and like it was even a tiny bit in my mind that these things might exist, there's a circle right in the middle of it, mm -hmm. like a little gap where the camera is showing through. Yep. And I, I do think I would see that and just be like, uh, that's a camera. That's not a bad resolution either. Like no. you're picking up some decent details on that. Yeah. It's not like cinematic HD quality, but like you can see the whole room. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like really warping the vision. You know, it's not a wide angle lens for better or for worse. We've certainly got a good bit of footage captured off the camera. Yep. Uh, we were able to capture a whole lot of sound using this thing. I think now we need to see if we can do counter surveillance. If we can and find, find them. I think that it's just flashing and all camera lenses are going to have a domed cover over them. Mm -hmm. And so it's like guaranteed to be reflecting light back at you. Yeah. So I think that's how this works is it just, it shines those lights and yeah. anywhere that has a camera lens is just definitely going to reflect it back. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. That is definitely a reflection happening there. It's not like horrendously sophisticated. So this is supposed to be detecting RF frequency. And as I bring this close to the baby monitor, 
you can see that it's starting to actually light up both of those lights. Over here, nothing. Get close, one to two. If I turn it all the way up, then it just maxes out, but I think you're supposed to just turn it down until it just barely turns off. That there you go. Now, a little too much. But, so over here, nothing. Oh, not much. So we've got the lights and the buzzy yep. noise. I want to go find that monitor unit. Yeah, yeah, I think you should do that. Okay. I'm not even gonna look. I wanna see if I can just find it just. Okay, well first off, it doesn't like the metal. In a room this size, there's only yeah. so much hiding to do, but yeah. You know, if if that were say inside a teddy bear or something to be disguised and you know not not have anyone know what it was, you just like pass over. I'm pretty sure, prank. yeah, you'd be like this teddy bear is sending out radio frequency. That's not normal for teddy bears, in my understanding. Unless it's a teddy ruxpin. So now we've both added a GPS tracker to our phone. So my phone is has location services turned on, but everything else is turned off. My Bluetooth, my Wi-Fi, uh, it's in airplane mode. Wow. My phone has a lot of signals coming off of it right now. This is amazing. Like it's a real time feed of like signal going going out of my phone right yeah. now. Like sometimes it's nothing. And sometimes it's a lot. So every time Nate is sending me a text, it just goes Wing! and freaks out. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun to see. That's cool. I have some doubts about it. Um, picking up on actually GPS signals. Now yeah. most GPS devices will actually be using a SIM card and sending data. And I think it can pick up on data, like we saw the text message, stuff like that. For as cheap as this was, honestly, it picked up our radio transmitter really well. We were able to see the lens on the spy camera yep. and we're able to pick up just the phone getting signals in and out. So it seems that pretty much whatever it is you're trying to spy on someone with, at least of the regularly available tech. I'm very uh, impressed with this thing. It's doing a pretty good job of finding it. <laughs> and it's a fun, it looks like a little spy guy. You like, it's got blinking lights and you like look through a little red window. And... Guys, we've got some fun little bits of spy equipment now. Is there anything else that you want to see us try with these things? Let us know. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. And if you don't want to miss it, hit that button right there to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.